If, if we're in a, a normal <laughs> stance here, I'm going to catch a cross grip on his sleeve. And then as he tries to tug the sleeve back, that's going to give me the opening to slip right in between his, his ribs and his elbow and get around and tight waist him. So you want to get that tight waist, around, uh, tight waist uh, around his waist. Don't grab his belt. You tend to have a floating elbow. Hook the whole elbow or hook the whole hip. Okay. Now, that, but the setup here is when you're grip fighting, you got to, there's your anchor. Your left hand is your anchor hand to set him up because a lot of times they'll pull it away. And a good, a good guy isn't just going to flop it away. He's going to keep it elbow in tight, pull it in, and there, see, that's how you set him up. Now, there's your setup. Now, it's just a matter of what do I want to do with this guy from here. I mean, you could toss with a Ogoshi. You could do all kinds of grip. So, kind of show that real quick, guys. He catches that. He, he swims through and he catches, okay? Now, what, Derek, we were, we were rolling with a Yoko Garuma earlier. Okay, that's a great throw. But now, we're going to do something. And I actually picked this up off John Saylor many years ago. Uh, it's, a, it's a sweet move. And... Tight waist him there, and let's look at everything. When he's doing this tournament, guys, can you see see his head right on the chest? That's essential. He's, he's completely dominating and controlling the shoulder. His head is going to be used to, to really push, you know, as, as a kind of a third arm, okay, as Renee Palmer had the third arm. Okay, you drive there, but see how he's tied him up. So everything's tied up here. Now, you notice how he's coming in with his hips. And when he does this, he's going to keep proceeding through, and he's going to do a thigh sweep or a lifting type five throw, like that. Why don't you come to the side and so he can do the full thing. So he, 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 does the, uh, he does the omelet grip, catches it, and watch the thigh sweep. Man, there you go. Now, the heavier weight guys, let me do this a bit here. Just, the heavier weight guys, you won't be able to lift and turn as much as the middle weights because we're just built different a little bit. And I notice when, when, when you're doing this and you're coming in through as a heavy weight, Tying up here, you're coming in here, and you're just chopping more, and you're driving in this direction. Try that. A little bit of a, and the lightweight spine like this too, but I know that as a heavyweight, bigger boy, we always did this. That is the one we found. Salvo guy, so he likes that thigh sweep. He likes to lift a little bit. That's cool too. But that's the original way, we just call it the omelet because you just throw them as flat as an omelet, and that's why we call it that. One more time, and then we'll. So, so. To show the head your way, though, the way it's tailed to, like that, that's the basic, okay? Then the one that Mr. Sambo likes, which really works, okay? He comes in, and he's getting more of a, a big sweep. See that? And you get a big, big amplitude throw. Either one, they're good. You definitely see we're using the crash pad on this, aren't we? That's a hard fall. That's a hard fall, so use it for safety, the crash pad.